One of the most common myths is that asthma is a psychological problem and as a doctor, I can tell you that it is not true. Asthma is a pretty severe condition that causes more hospitalization in children than any other chronic disease. So, it is important to understand that asthma is a physical condition, not just a psychological one. My husband is a firm believer in positive thinking and he thought that it was just psychological disorders of some sort. But boy, he was wrong. Yeah, it was such a scary time for us because my child was having such a hard time breathing and needed constant monitoring and medication to help manage her symptoms. It was definitely a wake-up call for us to start taking her asthma more seriously. Yes, that is a common myth, especially around parents not in the know. Exercise can actually be beneficial for children with asthma, but only if it is done with proper medication and guidance. Exercise helps to strengthen the lung, therefore reducing the frequency and severity of asthma. After my child was diagnosed with asthma, we stopped doing outdoor activities and exercises with our little ones because we thought that it would make things worse until her pediatrician told us otherwise. Incorporating regular exercise into her routine, along with the use of inhaled medication when needed, worked wonders. We noticed such a significant improvement in her breathing. It's important to note that the exercise and medication were done under the supervision of her pediatrician. The use of nebulizer or inhaled medication is more efficient in reducing inflammation and also improving breathing compared to oral medication. The reason is, it targets the affected area specifically and also provides quicker relief during an acute asthma attack. As opposed to oral medication that needs to be digested, the idea is to provide immediate relief now. I'll definitely be lying if I said it was not my concern. But I was rest assured by her pediatrician that using an inhaled medication such as steroids will not significantly impact her growth. And with the COVID situation happening, I have came to realise the importance of safeguarding my little one's respiratory health. Most parents are put off with the idea of using inhaled medication as a way to control asthma symptoms. That is the reason why they need to be educated to be informed. My advice is to always refer to their doctor when in doubt. Long-term use of infused steroid does not significantly decrease growth. In fact, poorly controlled asthma is linked to slower growth. 